In practice it's self check 4.12 spending, we are given the following code, however it is poorly, poorly structured. It is extremely redundant, and in this problem we are asked to just rewrite it so it is less redundant. Since we have these huge blocks of code repeating, we have this huge block of code repeating and this huge block as, long as, as well as these two little blocks. So what we can do is actually write it in a method and then just have a method call. So what we can do is look at this code and see what we can put into a method. It actually tells us to do this right here. We want to call our method spending and it will accept two parameters, a scanner and a string. So below this code, which we will comment out later, we are going to have a public static void and we will have our method name. Inside of here, we will have our parameters, which is a scanner. We will call it console and also a string for name. So we will call it name. After this, we will encase our method and start writing inside of it. So the first thing we have is this print statement. We are going to do everything in here and everything in here. This is the part that repeats, but also this part. So we'll address this afterwards though. So the first thing we have is this print statement here. We have how much will John be spending? We will have how much will Jane be spending? So what we can do is we can copy this line as well as the scanner below it to take that input and store it and paste it in here. What we're gonna change in here is from the actual person's name to the string variable name. So we can get rid of this and in here add our pluses, which means we're gonna have something else in here which was our name. So we will have how much will the name that we're passing in be spending. Then we are storing this answer in here. Next, we are going to have a print line, but I'm actually going to combine this with this statement down here and we can see why in a second. Actually, I'll just copy this for now and put it in here and then we can see how we can make this code even simpler. So after we do this, we notice that this math is all the same as it is down here. So what we can do is just copy this. So I'm going to copy and paste this down here. And what this is doing is it's taking the no, the amount. It's currently a double being stored right here, the double amount. It's converting it to an integer after it divides it by 20 and storing it in our number bills one. Then we have our if statement here. If number bills one times 20 is less than our amount, we have number of bills one plus plus. So we're gonna have this in our method and then we need to print this line out. So what we can do is copy this and paste it down here. We need to replace the actual John with name. So we will have name with a plus to have it with our string here. The number of bills one looks good. And all we should do now is just get rid of our old code. So I'm going to delete this. And actually just to use this for reference, instead of deleting it, we should probably comment it out so we can see what we changed. If we press submit, we can see that we've passed zero out of three tests and that's because I suck at spacing. I need to have a space right here and the how much will and the B. Pressing submit again, we can see that we've passed all three tests. To make this code simpler, like I was saying earlier, instead of having our print line right here, we can take that out and just have a slash N in front of here inside of parentheses. If we submit this, we are going to see that it is the exact same answer, which passes all three tests. So this is the method that we need to use, and I'll put it on top of here, to solve this practice it self-check 4.12 problem.